Okay, we are back to Tuesday Entrepreneurship. This is Why in the Morning. My name is Joy Mochache. Thank you so much for tuning in. And remember that if you want to reach me, you can do so on Joy underscore Mochache. And just in case you want to tell us what you think about this show and also you want to interact with us, you can do so on the social media handles that are right there at the bottom of the screen. And do remember that you can watch us on DSTV channel 376. Yes, to make DSTV sasa. Jifanya. Yes, we're happy about it, but we do thank God. And next up, we have wonderful two men who are entrepreneurs. They're young, but they've decided to do business, and we give them much respect for that. And so they've come to tell us exactly what they do, why they do it, and how they do it, and who they're doing it for. And their names are actually, um, if I could find uh, your last name, please go ahead and introduce yourself. This is George Washanga, pardon me, and Frederick Career. Yes. Mr. George, what do you do in uh, Prime Movers? Prime Movers is a company in which the, the, the two of them are working in. Yeah. My name is George Wachanga. I work at Prime Movers as the head of marketing and also IT department. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hello. Uh -huh. Mr. Okay. Korir. My name is uh, Frederick Korir, uh -huh. the co-founder of Prime Movers. Co-founder. Uh, yeah, a uh, mm -hmm. moving and relocation company based in Kenya. Okay. Yeah. Moving and location company based in Kenya. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sawa sawa. So one is in ICT, one is a co-founder. So you're working in two different areas, but in the same company. Sure. Yeah, sure. I see. Sawa sawa. I shall start by asking co-founder here, uh, Mr. Korir, tell us a little bit about why you decided to form Prime Movers. Kwanini. Okay. Prime Movers was born at least from the urge from uh, Kenyans who are in need of moving. Uh -huh. I know you also yourself you have had a hard time mm. maybe yes. while you are trying to move from one new house to another uh -huh, yeah. uh, yes. so that's why we came up to introduce at least uh, specialized moving services okay yeah uh -huh. whereby we offer the full service from parking to unpacking and then the setup of the new house office yeah, mm. sure. You said house, office. Can you please tell us uh, where all the places which you move? Is it just homes and offices or are there other areas where you, you move your, use your prime movers? Okay, we currently handle at least uh, uh, home removals, mm -hmm. office removals, mm -hmm. uh, machine relocation. Yes. And also we offer pet relocation services. Pet? Mm. Pet relocation. Pet relocation. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Maybe if you want to yourself, you have a pet, you uh -huh. want to transport from maybe Nairobi to Mombasa, uh -huh. we handle that. I did not know that um, people do that. That's very interesting. Pet Sh moving services. Sure, very interesting. That's we also interesting. ourselves uh, find it very interesting. That's good. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about what it's like to work in the ICT department. Exactly what, you, what do you do in the ICT department? Yeah, in the ICT department, um, mostly I work on the website, mm -hmm. consistently developing it and upgrading it. Mm -hmm. I also handle marketing, yes. whereby I develop strategies to get new clients yes. for the company. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And um, there was something you were telling me we were chatting, uh, the things that you do aside from uh, working for Prime Movers. What exactly is that? Yeah, personally, I have an IT background. Mm. I've studied for computer science. Mm. Now, given he's my childhood friend. Oh, really? Yeah, uh -huh. we are childhood friends. Uh -huh. So he ventured into <coughs> moving a relocation, and he consulted me and told me that he can come in and help him come up with the website. But then I was plainly doing web design mm -hmm. and developing applications. Mm -hmm. So on my part time when I'm not working with him, I develop websites for companies, for businesses. Yeah, that's my side hustle now. That's your side hustle. Yeah. I like that. And there's something you've mentioned that has piqued my interest, childhood friends. <coughs> Can we talk about that? Because sometimes we at Aukisoma, these business books, yeah, um, sure. And a lot of people when you talk to, yeah. they say, ah, don't do business with a friend. It can become so bad, you know, when it comes to things like money, uh, you know, leave the friendship aside, never lend money to a friend. It can really get to something bad. Yeah. And in some cases, this is true. But you guys are childhood friends, but you've decided to work together. That means that you trust each other. Yeah, sure. It means that you know that this can, uh, Korir can't do this to me, Washanga can't do this to me. That's why you're working yeah. together. Clearly. Can you tell us? how you fostered that relationship yeah, and how you came together to now start doing this together. Okay, having, having been friends, I, the first thing, I respect him so much. Okay. He's my friend. Yes. And 
whenever he calls me for a task, I'm always available. Uh -huh. So the key thing is respect because if I don't respect him, I don't do business well with him. Mm. I'll also frustrate him. Okay. So the key thing I ensure that is that I respect him. Respect. Yeah. Yes. Respect. And you mentioned another thing, always available. These are things that uh, make friendship strong, yeah, actually, sure. and people don't know. Being available for somebody. Cool. What, 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 what can you say about um, how this relationship started? Okay. Uh, yes, at least I tackle that uh, we are childhood friends. Yes. Uh, and uh, in business, uh -huh. the core of any business is trust and respect. Uh -huh. So at least when there is trust and respect between uh, at least... Uh, the person you work with yes uh, the business at least will progress mm. yeah okay right and speaking of business progressing you actually when i was reading your bio you work on even international moving yeah what's that like how is it like moving uh moving things is this overseas or within africa uh when we talk uh, about international moving mm -hmm. uh it re it entails the that is global relocations wow maybe if there is uh, someone in kenya who want to move to UK. Yes. Uh, that's maybe is moving to UK as a returning residence yes. or in terms of uh, education. Yeah. We usually handle that. Uh. We at least move uh, is or items uh, from Kenya to UK through various uh, platforms, either through sea or air. Mm. Yes, yeah. I was going to ask through which platforms do you fly their things or do you move uh, we by usually, sea? Uh, currently we handle sea freight and air freight. Sea freight and air freight. Yes. I see. Is there any way you, um, I think, okay, being in the ICT, how does working with the websites come together when it comes to international movers? Do people who are overseas come and look at your website and say, hey, we're relocating to Kenya to attack out the idea? What normally happens hmm. when someone needs our services, whether they are in Kenya or international, Yes. they search for keywords. They mm -hmm. search for moving companies in Kenya, best movers. So what we've done, what we did, mm -hmm. we came up with a very professional website mm -hmm. and we optimized it. We performed search engine, op search engine optimization mm -hmm. to ensure that whenever someone searches for related keywords, mm -hmm. as far as our services are concerned, maybe pet relocation, mm -hmm. international relocation, house movers, our website will always be on top. Wow. That way they're able to get us whether they are within Kenya or outside Kenya. Okay, yeah. I see. And actually, um, my producers are telling me, kindly exchange your microphones. Okay. Yes, I think that's perfectly fine. Um, and move to the edge a bit more. That's great. Now we can see you properly, and people who are watching can hear you properly and see you okay. properly. Okay. Twendele? Twendele. Ah, okay. Twendele. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. so let's continue. Um, you know, international moving is something that is difficult. It requires trust, even pet moving. Some people love their pets so much sure. that, that you like you yani going somewhere without them, it's not going to happen. Utasongesha hii dogi, pamoja na all my things, like it's a part of the family. <laughs> yeah. And if you harm this doggy, you shall see. I shall write for you a bad review. Really? Let's talk about some of the challenges that you come across. When it, work, when it comes to working with um, customers of different, different backgrounds and uh, wanting different things, what are some of the challenges you've come across? What are some of the worst experiences you've had? Okay, uh, uh, when we talk of challenges, uh, there is uh, what we call brand selling the brand to market okay or making the client believe in you uh -huh. so that's why at least uh, when we started i said we started the company out of the art of providing specialized moving services uh -huh. so at least we have trained staffs uh, who are able to at least handle either whether it's pet or your personal items in a professional way mm -hmm. so that at least uh, when you are moving your items are safe mm. and will be handled carefully i see yeah yeah so that's some of the things that people should expect from you yeah and as a company um when you look around here in kenya now let's focus about here in kenya i've been seeing a lot of moving trucks um all sorts of moving freights as well yeah. And it's like a booming business coming up every day. Someone is moving something. Someone has opened a moving business. What's it like when you, when you speak of competition? Any one of you can answer. Yeah, currently we have so many moving companies. Yes. We have the major ones that are big ones. We also have other startups. They, are di they have different strategies. 
wengine wanafanya kienyeji mm-hmm. but for us we decided to make a difference mm-hmm. although we're not very big we are a startup we started in 2017 mm-hmm. we've just been two years in business mm-hmm. but we mentioned that we are very professional mm-hmm. so that when we get a client through that client we're able to get referrals ah. yeah we benefit so much from referrals out of the quality of service that we offer to our clients yeah i see Okay, sawa sawa. And unfortunately that was a faulty mic. Could you please pass the microphone on to him? I would like for him to mention uh, one or two things that you see when it comes to things like competition in the Kenyan market. Okay, uh, competition at least in the moving industry is one uh, of the major things that affecting uh, various uh, companies because mm. uh, they are maybe the big giants in the industry. Given that uh, Prime Movers uh, is uh, a young company, mm. Uh, we usually find it hard for the clients to believe in us mm. so uh, but we usually at least on us on our side try work hard mm-hmm. and at least sell, sell our brand mm-hmm. to uh, fit in the market mm-hmm. yeah i see okay so you try to sell your brand in order to fit into the market yes um that's wonderful so when it comes to challenges and competition you have explained a couple of things you still haven't told me some of because i know that the experience is good and bad experiences yeah, sure. can we talk about some bad experiences you've had whilst moving or even just one bad experience when it comes to moving yeah some of the bad experiences we've had is uh we have clients uh, some of them are when handling domestic relocations mm-hmm. maybe the husband and the wife they had some disagreements mm-hmm. then the wife waits until the husband goes for work <laughs> then the, <laughs> the wife calls us yes. and tells us that she wants to relocate immediately ha <laughs> then when we are do- performing the task the husband comes and it becomes an issue it has yes. been a challenge and drama kama vindio i like that uh-huh. uh cuz uh, in kenya when we at least see the kenyan relationship uh there is an issue in relationship whereby uh the husbands and the wives are currently maybe not in good condition mm. uh na hiyo imekuwa issue kubwa sana mm. unapata mtu ameenda husband ameenda kazi uh-huh. bibi uh-huh. nae anataka hamisho sa hizo mm. and na sisi at least on our side uh, maybe at that moment we are not aware of that you are I there see. to perform your task i see na at the end maybe bwana alikuwa amesahau kitu kwa nyumba anarudi inaanza kuwa issue kubwa we get even involved I'm so sorry that you got um, pardon me for laughing. <laughs> I shouldn't I shouldn't be laughing. Like you know, that's sorry. very interesting yeah, yeah. because it just it's uh you guys are minding your business. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing your job. Yeah. I laugh out of nowhere I'm there and akuja. Hey. What's going on here? And, uh, then what do you do now after that? Munarudisha vitu ama mamfa mnafaje? Cuz uh in, su- in such a situation we usually have a contract yeah. between the company and the client. Mm. And the contract at least Uh, explains well that we are there for purposes of work so your issues you solve them outside there mm. see to kokazi mm. yeah. and this now you have to tell them before you start moving things yeah, for them yeah. mm. another challenge that we faced yes comparison yes we have some big giants in the moving industry uh-huh yeah and we true. are just a startup mm. so some clients will now start like comparing you and doubting if you'll deliver they tell you so and so does this you doing this and they feel like you're not delivering but <coughs> after the service after you finish the work they tell us oh wow i'll refer you to some of my friends mm-hmm. yeah <coughs> so comparison with the big giants has been uh, an yes. issue yes yeah. the major issue so they compare you to the bigger giants when it yeah. comes to moving companies yeah. but then at the end of the day you do your job we well deliver. you yeah. deliver we and even then uh, deliver more than the giants companies is that right yeah sure okay what are some of the things that separate you from the giant companies what makes you different as prime movers okay uh what makes us different is that at least when we started the company we started it uh, with a name to provide at least customer centered services okay we usually take uh, keen attention to your inquiries and uh your needs your moving needs so that's why at least we usually deliver excellent services mm-hmm. yeah uh-huh. we also make sure that we engage our clients consistently 
and make sure that we have a personal touch with the clients. Yeah. Yeah, we ensure that right from the beginning, through the full process to the end, we have that personal contact so that we're able, they're able to express themselves to us. And after the end of the exercise, they also give us their review. Mm. Yeah. I see. And that's a good way of doing things because it's like uh, building a relationship with your customers. It looks like you people have either gone to business school, I'm a mesoma, vitabu's a business, because you're doing all the right things. <laughs> you're doing all the right things. And so when it comes to plans for prime movers, what do you see for prime movers? Like, what do you want to do for prime movers in the next few years? Okay, uh, uh, we have at least uh, bigger plans. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, plan at least not to major only in Nairobi, but to have at least branches in the major countries, not only in Kenya, mm -hmm. but uh, venture to East Africa, uh -huh. Central Africa, yes. and even uh, South Africa. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is that. You realize that in the moving industry, you have other services that surround the same. For example, when someone... The, the, move, moving, the moving process, it's a process. It begins from when someone is searching for a house, actual moving, and possibly even cleaning of the new house. So what we've done, we've established another platform known as Get Any House, whereby if someone wants a house, they go to our website, they tell us the kind of house they want, and we search it for them, and then we also move them. Oh then if the house they are moving into uh, is not clean and uh, they are busy, too busy to clean it yeah we can add a, a fee for that uh -huh. and we clean it for them as well. <laughs> so you give and clean because moving can cause quite a mess yeah, so it's only it's not only moving mm -hmm. at least it's from house search to settling in the in the new house mm -hmm. yeah i see and also we offer the post moving services Okay, what are post-moving services? Uh, post-moving services is at least when you settle in your, in your new house, at least we always keep in touch and following, mm -hmm. following at least on you to know uh, if you are progressing on well. Wow. And also provide maybe advice in regards on how you can at least uh, settle well in your new house even after moving. I see. Yeah. Ah, this is wonderful. Pie Movers sounds like a very put together, well put together company. And when you first started off, I have to ask, because right now, giant companies may look at yours and say, ah, oh, men are too juicy, it's genini. But it sounds like you're doing things the correct way. Sure. It sounds like you're doing things even better than some of the giants, just like you said. Well. Yeah. So when we talk about doing things well, how in the beginning was it? compared to now? Because I know that when we start things, normally, at you can do. Okay. Or sometimes we know something, but not enough. Sure. So what are some of the things, Umeona, through that whole journey from start back to Saivi? Okay, uh, when we started, at least we have uh, some few challenges, maybe capital, getting the uh, correct uh, uh, qualified personnel, and also having the uh, correct materials. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but at least as we progress on, we have been able to at least work on them, get the personnel, train them on how to handle uh, at least clients' properties. Mm -hmm. Also, we have uh, at least uh, gotten some enough materials to use when moving and the rest. So at least we pride ourselves on having a, a good progress. I see, that's yeah. wonderful. And I can, oh, you have something to say? Yeah. Yes. When we began, yeah. it was a bit discouraging. I see why. Penetrating to the market was hard. Mm. But one thing that has really helped us is consistency. Sometimes we we'll go for jobs and at the end of it all, we have nothing. We've already spent it on paying, mm. paying for materials, for suppliers, for laborers. Mm -hmm. But consistency is what that has made us come to this far. I see. Yeah. Consistency. Consistency. Wow. And not losing hope. At least uh, you, uh, ukianza biashara, yeah. at least unakuwa, uh, biashara is all about taking risk. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So if you lose hope, at least the business will fall down. That's true. So you at least uh, must keep on. Okay. And push forward. Mm. Yeah. So no matter how much you fall down with starting off a business, because business you have to take a risk. Yeah. In other words, a risk, you're not sure what's going to happen. You're not sure whether you'll succeed, whether yeah. you'll fail. So either way, even if you do fail, what we're learning from prime movers is do get up and try again. Yeah, even uh, to add something, 
hata mtoto akizaliwa at least uh, anaanza kutamba alafu ndiye atembee yeah. na akitembea huwa anaanguka na akianguka huwa mm-hmm. abaki hapo at least anaamka anajaribu tena tena anaanguka tena anasimama tena kweli yeah and that's the best way of putting it that's yeah. the best way of putting it so if a child can have that determination What imagine about an, imagine an adult yeah si ndio kweli Right now our producers have thankfully uh, pulled up um, your Instagram page. Yes, sir. I can see it's written Prime Movers up there. Prime Movers, efficient, reliable and professional moving and relocation services and then call the number is there as well as your um, website primerelocations.com. So maybe we can look through the photos and talk about some of the things we're seeing in some of the pictures so we can get to know your work even better through looking. <clears throat> so I'm seeing um, Oh, you were now this is your uniform the red shirts, yeah, yes. Yeah. We have red and black as our colors. Red and, oh sorry, please bring your mic to your mouth, huh? We have red and black as our main colors. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I see. And I saw some photos um about people moving things from truck to truck. So those are people your employees as well? Yeah, sure. I see. Uh see how location? Oh, okay. What has happened there? Anyway, I can see most of them are got to do with moving things back and forth, yeah. showing people how you do your work. Yeah, yeah. And this is good because what you're doing is creating transparency. Sure. You're letting people know this is a very transparent business. Akuna kitu tuna feature hapa. What we're doing, we have taken photos and you can see them online and transparency is another important thing when it comes to businesses. Sure. Yeah. We don't have too much time, but um I'd like to talk about maybe things like uh entrepreneurship first of all because people want to know things like if i start a business like moving will it put food on my table will it feed me will it put uh, clothes on my back you know that's a question people are asking you don't have to tell us how much you do make yeah. but people are, are wondering as a starting company is it something that they can rely on to feed them okay uh as uh per right now we have at least no complaint in regard to the business because at least uh, we are able to pay our rent mm. and even because uh, 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 <laughs> on my side I'm currently maybe in school mm-hmm. I'm able to pay the fees mm-hmm. and also maybe oh. uh, support the family you can pay your fees home. support your family at home and pay your rent yeah plus buy the nice clothes and shoes you're wearing yeah, sure and also fill your tummy three sure. meals a day yeah at least you are able to uh, take take care of the basic needs yes yeah I see how do you feel about prime yeah. movers as um yeah something to rely on it has been a journey what I would like to tell to someone out there moving in relocation is not the only business they can do of course there are so many other things that someone can do mm. and earn income mm. someone can go to Gikomba collect some few clothing out there go and sell them and make a living out of that can start selling vegetables fruits and make something out of that so I'd like to encourage our youths and tell them that they should not just rely on the formal employment they should wajitume yeah yeah wajitume <coughs> the main thing is do what you love mm-hmm. and when you do what you love yeah. you'll do it even better I see. then they be consistent mm. if you make a loss one day don't think that you lo- you'll always be making losses mm. losses will come but you'll also make sure that you take care for that and the next day you don't make a loss yeah i see yeah i see and so what we're learning here is that um consistency actually comes from loving what you do yeah. because and that makes perfect sense because it's very difficult to be consistent with something you don't like At you'll least. do it today and you won't do it for three days then you'll do it next week how would you ski unona and so the secret is first of all finding what you love sure yeah and then creating and at that least, consistency uh, you shall you should have at least maybe passion in whatever you do passion yeah see you fanya kitu juu mwingine anafanya clearly yeah so guys don't open a moving company just because we have moving guys here you know <laughs> that's not the idea we're trying to move across but we are trying to show the different ways in which you can make money for yourself without waiting for employment yeah. and lastly because we do have to wind up the show maybe we can talk a little bit about um what our youth can learn when it comes to business and starting off a business and being brave and taking that risk uh hotel oh, that's your camera by okay, the way okay okay Uh, what I would like to tell to my fellow youth is that everything begins with learning. 
it begins with the learning. Whatever you want to do, first do adequate research about it, how to do it better, research about other competitors, what they are doing, what can you do to have a difference in the kind of a service that you are offering so that the clients will see a difference and prefer you no, and not your competitors. Mm. They be consistent and just, they just begin small. Eh? Don't begin. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't despise your humble beginning. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Be persistent, mm. be consistent, and eventually you'll make it. Mm. Do, don't expect quick results. That, that's one of the mistakes that people do. So one day you wake up and you think that you will do business and once it fails, you think it's not my thing. It's because of these social media things that are making people feel like, yeah, so yeah like, you can be rich like this. <laughs> yeah, I think one of the mistakes that people do is comparing themselves. Like someone might just start a moving business today and they start now competing with us. Maybe we are doing five jobs in a day. Mm. They are doing one job in a week and they feel like, no, it's not my thing. But we also there, out of consistency, we've come to where we are right, right now. Mm, getting yeah. jobs on a daily. Yeah, sure, on a daily basis. I see, that's wonderful. So you guys, what I can pick from that and what I hope you pick from that before Mr. CEO says something is do not despise small beginnings. Keep that in mind. Write it down if you have to. Never despise small beginnings. Because if you do, you will not be trusted with a big thing. Sure. Yeah. Okay, uh, my advice... Uh, to fellow youths outside there is at least uh, Kenya kuna chances. There are chances outside there. Yes. So at least uh, you have to work hard. At okay. least don't even work hard. Work smart. Okay. And try work at smart. least venture into various chances that are, are, are outside there. Don't uh, expect maybe kuajiriwa ama ukai nyumbani ungoje mzazi akusaidie. Apana. at least uh, take your own chances and at least you will progress that's true that's yeah. very true that's very true so you've learned um <clears throat> do not despise small beginnings and do not work hard work smart that is what matters the most in your sure. working smart because you can work hard the whole day but i would just find a key too because you're not being clever in what you're doing yeah i see you look like you have something to say kindly say it quickly okay Another thing that they can also focus on is how they treat their clients. For example, there's one of our clients, we did for her a very perfect job. Out of five, we've gotten six other clients. Wow. So it's not how many clients, how many new clients you get. It's out of the few clients that you offer quality and perfect service to that you can benefit from. So they focus on the quality of service they provide in how they treat and handle their clients. Yeah, we've so much benefited from referral clients in talking for us. Okay. Yeah. Asante sana. Uh, any parting words? Uh, we at least, uh, maybe we take this chance at least kushukuru uh, wai to 54 TV to pay a chance at least uh, to ongeleshe wa Kenya. Ah, kuna shida, no problem. Do you mind giving your social media handles quickly as you look into camera four, then we can wind up this. Yeah. One morning. So you can follow us on our social media pages. On Facebook, we are Prime Movers. On Instagram, we are Prime Movers. We have our website as primemovers.co.ke. Mm. It has everything about us, our portfolio. Yeah. Everything. And even our contacts. So, so transparency. There we yeah. go. How about so, your social media handles? Okay. Uh, at least uh, we. I don't have something to add. Okay. Given that uh, at least he, uh, he has provided the company mm -hmm. contacts. Okay. Yeah. Okay. When you visit Facebook Prime Movers, Instagram Prime Movers, mm -hmm. website www.primemovers.co.ke, we at least you will find us. Okay. So, so. And uh, we work on 24/7 our basis i see yeah 24 7 hour basis there you have it that shall deliver things to your door or away from your door depending on what you're interested in doing depending on what your plans are this is a trustworthy team of two wonderful humble young men uh, who are one is a founder and one is a uh, working the ict department of prime movers thank you so much for tuning into tuesday entrepreneurship this has been why in the morning you can find me on joy underscore mochachi my name is joy mochachi please do stay tuned in for any other things that this channel has for you but for now why in the morning is through.
Thank you.